let's do a walk around. And as sure. as we do that, if you don't mind just kind of telling me what you're looking at uh, and basically the whole process of, of the walk around before startup. Sure. Yeah, awesome. my pleasure. Thanks very much. I'm just going to actually take my helmet off. Don't sure. Me. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot. All right, come along. So normally uh, we'd start here with the gun. So we, um, this is a switch that's out. And so once we check uh, the position for the, 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 if it's armed or not, uh, if it's going to be armed, if we're going to use the gun, then this switch will be uh, selected by the armors. If it's safety, then we're able to push the switch in ourselves. We go underneath, so we'll check um, our, our nose gear. Okay. And you're kind of looking for the general condition. Uh, you want to see that the oil is extended or you got some uh, room to give. And then we go underneath and uh, we'll reset some of the codes here and then a couple switches. And then we check uh, the hydraulic pressure in the front okay. the, for the emergency brakes. And then coming around the side, just kind of your standard uh, airplane walk around. So your uh, static veins, your A-wave veins, and then your uh, pitot static tube mm -hmm. on the left side. You're kind of just checking uh, your nuts and bolts. Right here in the front, we don't like to put, you know, uh, our hands on the front, but uh, you just kind of check the general condition. Mm -hmm. And if you come around on the side here. And does it matter wh whether you go left or right or? It doesn't matter, and then if you're in a two-plane, usually one guy will go, uh, or a girl will go clockwise, and the other counterclockwise. Sure. Uh, so similar as the left side, we're checking uh, the pitot and the AOA. And then, so if you want to check the panels, we have our uh, pins box, so you'll have your pins uh, up in this uh, compartment. Okay. And then your codes for the loading of the aircraft. So each bomb, missile, uh, luggage pod will have a particular code that we put into this stores management. Uh, so in order for the jet to know what's on the aircraft. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure, you know, for, for a pre-flight that there's no, uh, you know, maybe bird's nests or anything. Uh, the conditions of your compressor blades. Um, so on the after flight, you'll actually jump in and take a look. Okay. And then... Similar with the nose gear, we're going to look at the condition of the tires. Uh, you want to check the brake caliper that you have enough uh, brakes for your flight. Okay. And then uh, the plane and link here. Um, and then uh, so you're looking at the leading edge of your aircraft or the wings. Mm -hmm. Working your way around. Uh, if you had uh, external tanks or anything else, you would be pre-flighting those as well. Okay. Most time you'll have some sort of training uh, missile on the wings uh, or a you might have to load your uh, uh, DTD so that da data storage uh, device mm -hmm. and then your ailerons and your flaps uh, just again kind of looking at the condition uh, we got hydraulics it's green um, it's only really accurate right after the flight okay so that's what you'll see a lot of times technicians will come and check after the engines are started uh, in order to ensure you got the proper hydraulics for your right and your left. And we'll actually go underneath. So we'll be looking for our hydraulic filters uh, underneath here. Okay. We also have a, a pumps, uh, like a handheld pump that will make sure it's secure. Mm -hmm. So that's secure. And then we got uh, the three filters here. And then you're also kind of looking for any kind of uh, fluids or, or any of that stuff. We'll check the oil level in each engine. So you got a couple doors to drop here. Okay. Um, and then we'll move back to the stabilators. So similar, you don't want to see any, uh, you know, kind of nicks or anything. You're looking for um, any kind of damage. Same mm -hmm. with the nuts and bolts on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, these move, you know, quite a bit, right? So. You want to make sure nothing's sticking out there, really. Right. And then, because it's not un, it's not uncommon to actually hit a bird or whatever. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You never know. Right. Um, and then the the exhaust. Uh, you want to make sure the afterburner holder mm -hmm. 
that they're not burned out or that there's a certain amount uh, that can be burned out. Uh, same with the left side uh, our hook. You just want to make sure you have enough uh, of the toe left in order to catch the hook if you, or the the uh, resting cable if you if you need it. Mm -hmm. You actually have a pressure gauge for the hook as well here. Okay. So you check the pressure. Okay. And then it's similar uh, for the left stabilizer. Right. You're also looking up at your night vision. Formation lights, mm -hmm. guys, as well as on the on the vertical stab. Mm -hmm. Looking at your rudders, uh, and same thing, just for any kind of damage. And then it's similar on this side. So you got your hydraulic on this side. Uh, you'd be looking at your hydraulic filters underneath the wheel well, and then same thing with your your left wheel. And so yeah, it's identical on this side. Um, and then, yeah, you'd want to ensure your panels are secure. Mm -hmm. And then that would be the walk around for the CF-18. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Dan. Appreciate that. <laughs>